guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over how my MX650 went from this to this. From 17 miles an hour to 35. Enjoy and stay tuned. All right, so this is my next project. Razer MX650. So, what we're gonna be doing here is first opening this up right here all the components electrical components of this bike and see what's in it to see if what i want to swap over will fit so let's get to that that was a royal pain in the butt but we got them out got my two batteries here let's see how they do okay that looks like it's going to be pretty perfect No way. <laughs> no way. These fit perfect. Oh my gosh. So it's funny. Those three huge SLA batteries replaced by these, I mean, huge LiPo batteries. But we're literally doubling the amount of power that we can put out. And I have a third one for the 72 volts. I might want to cut that off and then set it on top somehow. Make a bracket or something. All right, that's, that's good to know. So, this time I have my parts, except for the throttle. Um, I've got the motor here. I opted to get the motor with the little plate just so that I have the option of um, taking it off and using it for another project. Uh, I th yeah, because I'm, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to want to do something else. So I got this motor with this little plate because it'll be a lot easier to mount it to stuff. So if you order this, I ordered it off Amazon. You look up 3000 watt motor, this comes up. I ordered just the motor, not that controller kit because those big controllers are honestly really crappy they're huge and I'll show you the controller that I got which is literally like one sixth the size <laughs> maybe one fourth I don't know so here is super small a Kelly KBS 72 121x so it's 72 volt 120 amp burst controller super small I mean these things are insane how small they are I, I truly thought they were bigger. So, um, those are my parts for right now. That comes with the, the controller comes with the programming cable and some other connectors. These are nice connectors, so I'm probably gonna use them even though they're really clunky. But, so first we're gonna go ahead and swap the motor over from this <laughs> 650 watt little controller here, or motor here. Um, and they are the exact same size, if you were wondering, these two, do fit you would have to do a small modification which I'll show you gotta drill two holes down in there uh, somewhere because this motor the um, these, these screws stick out so I'll get to disassembling this whole thing and take the motor out here I'm and pretty I'll sure you can take off the chain just by pushing down on the chain tensioner and then pulling it off so we'll go ahead and do that just to get the chain off and then we'll go ahead and start to take the motor out. I think with that foot plate on the motor, there's no way to get it in. It doesn't fit through under here. Um, so I'm gonna have to take the back tire off. Oh, the motor's in. And it was a royal pain in the ass. Um, drilled those holes. Realized that I really cut out way too much. It was like right in the way, so I could have just trimmed a little bit. Same with up here, could have just trimmed it a little bit. Um, but that's okay. That's, that's, that's fine. I'll next, I'll mock up the controller and all the batteries. I'm gonna have to cut these, so we'll see about that. But for right now, got the motor in. All right, <clears throat> so I have gotten to a point where I am ready to mount everything up. I've got three. 6s 20,000 milliamp batteries here um, off of Hobby King, and I made this triple series connector with this little thing for the battery for the voltage meter. Um, so that'll go into there. 
Kelly controller. Got the phase wire mount. Just use a little piece of wood and some bolts. These three wires hanging out here go to the throttle. I have this throttle off of Amazon with the key switch and the voltage meter. This thing has, uh, let's see, it's got five wires. The blue is the key switch, yellow is the power for the voltage meter, ground is ground obviously, green is the signal for the throttle, and red is the power for the throttle. Yeah, so if we look here, seven is the power supply of the Kelly controller. So that's gonna go to the blue wire. Four is five volts in for the throttle. And three is the throttle, um, the throttle signal. So I'll get that all hooked up and tidy everything up. All right, I'm ready to plug everything in. Now let's see, power right here. good all right so I just took everything apart and rewired it just plugged everything back in I guess and uh, it's on <laughs> the problem though right now is that um, I'm getting no throttle um, I went to, I chose to mount my controller here, because when the plastics are on, you can't even see them because of the fenders. You can't even see the controller up there, so that looks really nice up there. I'm going to mount my hall sensors right above here, but make sure to, my little thing, I have, I have these uh, bolts coming through, so I got to make sure that those don't short out. Um, hall sensors as well mounted up there and then just kind of like tidying everything up but as of right now this is working except there's no throttle so I gotta figure that out so I guess don't eliminate the fact that you could get a bad throttle from Amazon because this thing totally didn't work I took a separate throttle from a screw that I had in there so, uh, so now there's a new hall sensor and it works perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up all of the wires here. All right, so this is the semi-finished product. So I've got the controller up in there, as you can see, and all the extra wires are under this little gas tank here. Um, yeah, everything, everything works. Turn on the throttle, 75 volts. Green light, that's all good. There is a manual online if you look up the model. So this is a Kelly KBS 72121X controller. You look that up, you'll get a you'll get a model. So I I highly recommend these, even though I haven't even used it yet, just because of the wiring. It's really nice. A lot of features you can use, and it's so small, extremely powerful for the size. So that is a definite plus. And look, you can't even see it. <laughs> so that is awesome. Got these little leads up here that go to the voltage meter straight from the battery so that's how I'm getting the voltage um, just strap these in here for now these are Turnigy 20,000 milliamp 6s batteries three of them in series for 72 volts and these are awesome I use them on a separate e-bike I use two of them for 48 volts and they're great so I got another one for this for 72 volts and yeah this thing is looking pretty nice I might take off these stickers. It's a little goofy. All right. Okay, I think that looks better. I don't know about this right there, but. Oh no. 
long story short, I fixed it. All right, so next day, not raining, a little wet, but oh my god! Holy crap! Okay, that's spooky. Oh my goodness! What the heck? <clears throat> Oh my god, it's just popping wheelies, dude. And it's fast. Jeez, this thing is fast. Bruh, this thing's gonna need some tuning. Because it feels whack. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> this is insane! I'm gonna need to definitely raise the, well, front end and handlebars. Cause the handlebars are just so low. They need to be like much higher, much higher. The brakes are pretty good though. They squeak on these stock razors, but they're, they're good. also rolls really well <clears throat> like I can just stay off the throttle and not have an issue down a hill plus of having a freewheel 